My goodness, a Susie Saurus, how we doing? And thank you very much for the five month resub. Incredible. I have my, oh God, look at this. I need scissors. This bit has got out of control. It's just not acceptable, is it? I mean, I really need to sort out my gruff. Uh, but tomorrow is my stream anniversary party. So it's tomorrow that I'll make myself look a little bit more presentable. For now, it's early Sunday afternoon with coffee and Zelda. <clears throat> Excuse me, how you doing, Susie? Thank you for dropping by. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Thoroughly enjoyed your stream at 2, 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sleeping pattern could do with some slight tweaking, I believe. I hope we're all okay today. I am still half asleep and still very clearly bedraggled. Bedraggled? Is that even a word? Have I just invented a word? Let's uh, get that sorted. <clears> hey <throat> you, hi, and always love to see you. Always love to see you too, Joey. Uh, there we go. Slightly more refined, apart from now you can see all my beard gruff that I've been neglecting this week. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm still half asleep, so it's got to be said. But I thought I had two choices. One was lounge around in bed watching people on Twitch on YouTube or lounge around sat here chatting to you guys and playing Zelda and it was no it was you know there was no uh, no competition really. Uh so here I am. Uh it's 5:48 a.m. here. Jesus Joey, get to bed, man. Bedraggled is indeed. Is it actually a word or is it like a, a, a whole word? Because I used to think that um, taffled was a word. You know, when something's all taffled up, that's a whole word. But you're absolutely right. Yep, according to Oxford Dictionary, bedraggled is there. To, 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 to rhyme with disheveled, not to rhyme with, but. Similar meaning! Oh, come on, man. Wake up. There we go. Right, we're going to play some Zelda. Yeah, we're gonna stop the uh, copyright-free medieval fantasy tavern music. Hey, 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 hey genre! Hello there. Uh, that's all I really know about that Star Wars film. <laughs> but yes, it is. Uh, okay, hey, Anonymous, how you doing? Oi, oi! If you feel particularly saucy, you can finish that line with Savaloi. But I'm not too particularly saucy, to be honest. So I'm just going to go with Oyoi. But it's up to you. You're your own boss. Just 
seem a little bit loud. It's not that down for you guys. Um, sound advice. I just want to say hi to one cool dude. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> now, I appreciate that, Joey. I really do. Uh, I did enjoy watching you do your Stardew thing last night. Yesterday, I uh, completed the Fire Temple. Go me. And considering we had a green spirit. Uh... Hello? Why aren't you running? Huh? Very. Why is it pressing forward doesn't make you run? Have I stood on my pad or something? Okay, so that makes you run, but pressing up does not make you run. This could be kind of detrimental to the gameplay experience. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, Dr. Safira, how are you doing? I do hope you are indeed well. And if you're not, don't worry about it. As always tomorrow. All right, something's gone clearly very, very, very wrong with my with my pad. If I press forward, I only walk and don't run. Uh, yeah, that's Let's try maybe loose like a stick or something. No, there's a bit of <coughs> a bit of dust or dirt caught in it. Nope. Oh dear. In true, no longer shamble shack, but also kind of shamble shack style. I think my PS, I think my PS4, I think my N64 pad might be busted. Shit. Um. Hmm. A... Oh dear. That was a lot of coffee in one go. Right, okay. This is, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is bad. <clears throat> uh, what port am I in? Not that one. Bear with me, my friends. We may end up just jumping onto Graveyard Keeper in a sec if this is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, right analog up. This is the wrong menu. <laughs> Why me? Why is it always me, Beardy? I'm not winning, lad. I tell your son, tell your pal, tell your fella, tell your mate, tell your fella, tell your dude. I'm not. I'm not winning. I am not winning. <laughs> uh. Right. Hey, Squeak. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's restart RetroArch. Hang on. Settings, input, <clears throat> coffee burps. That is not the one. That is not the one. What the hell? Where's my May, f May flash drive thing? Okay, so that is the correct one. Let's just go to uh, left analog up. I think my PS, I think my N64 pad might have died, or got stuck on something. So I'm just not sure everything's connected properly. Every other button worked fine though, so it wouldn't make sense if for one button not to work. Uh, after the dire evening last night, I've decided dating just ain't for me. I mean, I'm kind of glad to hear it, but also kind of sorry to hear it. It depends how you feel about it, I guess. Uh, Oh no. Oh no, what did I just do? Okay. Okay, so let's try the left analog up again. And then go back to the game and run. What was why was it so bad if you want to if you if you feel like sharing? I don't think I've ever really been on a bad date. I've been on a date that's gone nowhere, but it's not necessarily been bad. <laughs> hey! I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. <laughs> right, okay, we're playing some Zelda. 
Hell yeah! When you have to do shots midway through your day to put more effort into it, it's time to give up. That's completely fair. Uh, oh god, shots. <laughs> Even when I was an out of control, binge drinking, raging alcoholic, I couldn't do shots. <laughs> Even the thought makes me feel sick. Uh, so I take it the person in question being dated wasn't the most uh, entertaining of people. Na, da, 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 da. That was perfectly out of tune. It wasn't really. Right, um, so we did the... Uh, let me turn this down in my ears. So we did the uh, fire temple last. Before that, we did the green temple. So logic dictates if we're going to copy the uh, the pattern of the early part of the game, that the water temple will be next. Good question, Susie. Saw some people last night doing shots of some pink tequila that looked like strawberry yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely dreary and find it very difficult to make conversation with and quite literally my opposite. Well, sometimes opposite attracts, but sometimes they don't. Fair dudes. I don't think you should give up on dating just because of that, though. Depends if you like dating or not. I mean, I'm not a big fan of dating, like, like dating dating in the traditional sense. I prefer to, like... And this is this is just me, but like I prefer to forge friendships first, and then sort of like see if anything develops from that. I think the last person I dated, like properly dated, uh, was Jesus. Uh, probably been Laura, and that was in. 2008, 2007, something along those lines. Um, tequila Rose is big down my way. I'd have thought Tequila Rose, you just need to pluck it and don't put it in water. Do you, do you get it? Do you, get how, do you see how funny I am? Dear. There's a reason I've got a thousand followers, it's because of my genius wit. <laughs> Speaking of which, the thousand follower party is tomorrow. It's 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 relatively unplanned. Uh, we're gonna play a game of uh, keep talking and nobody explodes. That should be fun. We're gonna do a short music reaction because uh, it is still music reaction Mondays. And I think there is a real possibility. Oh look, an egg. Um. There's a real possibility that I uh, might end up playing the remake of Resident Evil 2. Uh. We'll see what Mr. Bank Manager says tomorrow. Uh, we were to go to a gig but wanted food first, didn't make it to the gig. Yeah, it's always difficult to continue. It depends if you, if you go for a... Hello? If you go for a light snack, that's one thing. But if you go for a full-on feed before a show, then yeah, it's, it's unlikely you're going to make it to the show. And if you do, you're just not going to have much fun. You're just going to stand there going, oh, why, did I, why didn't I stop halfway through when I was full? Gluttony. Not my favourite sin, but it's up there. Hang on, what the fuck are we doing back here? I wanted to, right, okay, at least I know where that goes now. The last person I dated was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is my homie. Uh, and my secret lover. He loves it as our G. Somehow I've managed to always avoid dating. That's totally fair. It wasn't the food because... It was so awful, I bailed on it less than two hours after I got here. Why is it this opening? Maybe I'm playing the wrong song. Oh, that's the wrong song as well, isn't it? That's the horsey song. Um, 
I'm sorry to hear that squeak. That does sound like quite terrible. So what did you do? Did you do the old, you know, I'm going to the bathroom and not go back thing? Yeah, get some out of it. At least I hope the food was good. Good call. Uh, yeah, I've never been big on dating. I'm not very good at it. Uh, I, I do I do get nervous in those situations, as I think most people do. Because it's like a job interview with, you know, this pretense of happiness at the end. <laughs> uh, nah, I much rather prefer forming platonic relationships first. Then you get to know somebody. And if, and if something stems from that, if something grows from that, then great. But don't get all weird about it and get like obsessed with people that you're, you're, you they're, to you they're your friend but you you want something more but you've never actually said anything so you, your feelings grow and grow until the point where you blurt it all out after 12 pints and then the person you blurted it to is just like okay <laughs> and there's friendship gone you know? <laughs> I don't know what to play I've forgotten the song Yeah, there it is. Da 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 That's the horse song or whatever. Hey. Yeah, what food did you have? Where did you go? Was it delicious? I made uh, veggie burgers last night, my own recipe, and they went down an absolute storm. Bloody lovely. Sadly not, when he looked at his train times, I told him the next one is half an hour, so he'd best leave, but I would stay in there so I could finish my drink. And off he went. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. Is there going to be ghosting involved, or is it just going to be a case of uh, you're actually going to message him and say, hey, nah? As difficult as it is, I'd always prefer the hey, nah, to be honest. Being ghosted isn't pleasant. This is fucking frozen, look. What's going on here? King's gone. Oh, no, there he is. He's full of red. It's my favourite place. It's a bar and pizza place. I mean, what more could you want but beer and pizza? Can I set fire to him with my shredding, ripping, face melting solos? Oh, maybe not. Hey! An Arctic wind is blowing from Zora's River. Do you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? The best cocktails in the city. You're in Nottingham, if memory serves. Or am I wrong there? Every town, yeah, it's ups and downs. Sometimes ups outnumber the downs. But not in Nottingham. Right. I'm inclined to believe. It, oh, hello. <clears throat> if we weren't so down, we'd up and leave. Don't fall off, Link. Link, no, don't fall off. We want that. Ah, that's extra hard piece. Fuck yeah. Norwich. I knew it began with an N. Do you, do you see uh, Alan Partridge around often? There you go, it's got a whole new heart. A whole new heart. A new fantastic source of blood. Well, it's not really a source of blood, is it? It's more of a pump of blood. Where does blood actually come from? Where does anything come from? Go away. Uh, right, okay, what am I doing? I was supposed to be. Aha! I think I was supposed to be up there. There's a big old hole in the wall. What's your favourite cocktail, everybody? I am uh, particularly partial to a white Russian, but not when I'm like out and about. That's a white Russian's a sit-at-home cocktail for me. Uh, I am a big fan of a Bloody Mary. I think there should be more savoury cocktails. Especially like it when they make it all fancy and put like Szechuan peppercorns and stuff in it and make a bit more effort than just tomato juice and Worcester, you know? Door. Can I smash it? No. Can I just use regular fire on this stuff? Let's have a look. 
Not much of a cocktail person. That's totally fair. The premiere of the film was at a cinema in my city. There was a massive mural of him on the side of the building for it. Oh, Alan Partridge, I thought you were talking about your date from last night. I was like, Christ, who the hell are you dating? <laughs> but yeah, totally. Cool, cool. I mean, if you were dating Alan Partridge, I'd be impressed. And strangely, also would want to watch. <laughs> Not sure if I might meant to be able to get around this bit. Are you actually enemies? Oh, okay, you can be fucked up. There we go. Ah, oh, get the bastard! Aha! It was a case of kill everybody! I want to kill everybody. Not in real life. Please don't send the... What is it that dickhead gamers do to each other? They send, like, the SWAT police round to each other's houses. In the hope that they get killed. What the fuck is wrong with the human race? <laughs> you bake me on a shooty-shooty game. I'm going to get you killed. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. It's just, just a game. People fucking kill each other over football. It's like, what? Seriously? <laughs> fucking weirdos. <laughs> and I do appreciate the irony of saying that, given that I am like a fucking weirdo. At least. To a lot of people. Oh, come on! I was right in the middle of the last Well, it wasn't a miss, that's why I didn't pick it up. But still, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, I need to think of more savoury cocktails. Oh, that wasn't even the last one. Stop it! Uh, savoury cocktail. You know, like in, in a in a uh, in a Bloody Mary, they put like a stick of celery in it at the end for a reason. I'm not really quite sure what the reason is, but I know they do do that because I've had one. Like, I need a sort of a cocktail where you could put a sausage in it. We could actually, we could actually make it uh, Alan Partridge themed, and instead of a <laughs> instead of instead of a cup of bean steak, using a sausage as a spoon. Uh, <laughs> instead of that, we could do beans in a cup, but we could add like a barbecue bourbon sauce but make the bourbon really prevalent and then you can use the sausage as a spoon in a, a boozy cup of barbecue beans I think that's a really good idea right I'm going to open a bar with all my money uh, and the only thing we will serve will be savoury cocktails involving sausages how could that business plan ever fail what people want they just don't know it yet and that is the key to business isn't it people yes yes it is grim no <laughs> i might be a weirdo but you're a kind weirdo oh, i appreciate that i don't mind being a weirdo i've seen what constitutes as normal hmm i don't like the angle of that jump Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Hello. Getting to like you, getting to know you like me. Have I had bloody Caesars? Don't tell me that's with like Caesar salad dressing or something. That would be awful. Oh my god, I can't think of anything worse, I don't think. Ugh. You get crumbly cheese on top. Uh, but no, I've, I've never heard of a bloody Caesar. It's got a knife in it. <laughs> I do protest. Um, so j just use a Bloody Mary as a base and add to it. A good smoky whiskey would be good with barbecue. Can I put a sausage in it? Squeak. That's what I need to know. Hell, you can... Oh, whoa, come on, that should have... Why, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Come here, you icy, bloody bat. <laughs> that told him, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you icy. 
thing. Huh? Oh, can you not, please? I'm trying to get through my day here. Ha! Um, it's the same principle as Mary, but with clamato, which is tomato with clam juice. <laughs> I don't know what porn star parties you're going to, but I'll pass on that, thank you. I, I don't like particularly care for clam juice in my drinks. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that, that actually quaint cat sounds... I think I'd prefer the uh, the seasoned, seasoned ranch dressing in my cocktail, to be honest. Clam juice. Why don't you just, just, just put salted water in? Um, hey, 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 Sushi, how we doing? Is that a Dorito I see in between your fairy love hearts? Yeah, I don't want someone's clam in my cocktail either. Well, actually, you don't know. I mean, there's me completely poo-pooing the idea when I haven't even tried it. That's close-mindedness. Maybe it'll be the greatest thing I've ever drank. I don't quite understand what it is I'm meant to be doing with this because I tried shooting through the flame at the thing and that didn't really want to work. Or is that just a crap angle? No, it's not setting fire to it, is it? Do I have any sticks? I can't use sticks as an adult. Oh, that's upsetting. So what the... Is it, is it just me getting the angle wrong? Very common in Canada, more than Mary's. There you go. I never would have thunk it. What's going on in here? Seriously. We have to kill all the bats. Get. Let's go get some of them love hearts, shall we? And I don't mean the, uh, the refresher style sweets, although I do love love hearts. Um, if I ever see it on a menu, give it a try. It doesn't taste like seafood. I'll be honest, the, the places that I go to that sell high-end cocktails are very, 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 very few and far between these days. Uh, I don't think there's such a thing. That's a high-class cocktail bar in this city. And trust me, you wouldn't see anything like that in a Weatherspoons. Hi, can I have a clam juice cocktail, please? <laughs> Just imagine the guy behind the bar going, You are? <laughs> Sir, I wish for a clam. I want, for, I want a clammy Mary, thank you. <laughs> she was here half an hour ago, mate. <laughs> Sorry. I <clears throat> uh, don't know what to do. It's clearly something to do with that flame. But arrows going through it don't do shit. So I think this is maybe the wrong place to be. Maybe I need to be somewhere else before I'm here. Uh, I have got a chicken, so I could go wake up the guy and do that. I've got a hammer. Hmm. How is everything? Yeah, being grossed out by weird cocktails. Apparently in Canada, they have a cocktail called a Bloody Caesar, which is based on a Bloody Mary, but instead of tomato juice, they use tomato and clam juice, actual clams, you know, like the bogies of the sea kind of thing. Do we even call them clams over here, or do we call them, uh, is that what we call mussels? I'm actually not sure. Clams. Clam. Clam. I'm going to Google clam, which is, it's okay, I, I, it's not on screen, but I'm just curious as... <coughs> Okay, I thought clams were something slightly different. Yeah, we, we call them mussels, don't we? Hmm. Clams are mollusks and cultivated on the south coast of the UK and the northeast Atlantic. But we call them cockles. Clams and cockles. <laughs> 
Hey, baby. Can I put my cockle in your clam? <laughs> <laughs> no clipping that, please. I don't want to be reminded of that. <laughs> Fucking hell, Weymouth Beach, clams and cockles. Um, I went to Weymouth as a kid. Oh, nice place, I don't remember. But I was literally a child, so I can't say I've got like a reliable memory on it. Right, stop it, chunk. Stop thinking about clams and cockles and other weird sausage-based cocktails and figure out how to get through this freaking room. Hello. Didn't realize there were still enemies in here. Enemy of the state. Okay, got some magic. Whoa, ho, ho, it's magic. You know. I never believe it's not so. Get me. So that song, uh, whoa, 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 it's magic. Was it Super Tramp that sang that? It could have been. Either way, um, does anybody know which two 90s, famous 90s comedies that was used in the soundtrack for? Maybe together you can all pick one and you'll get them both if that makes sense. Um, I've never heard that term. Yeah, cockles. Cockles and mussels and and clams. <laughs> Can we stop referring to it as a clam, please? Like, just in, just in society in general. I know Vithika, I don't know if she's in here today, but Vithika often refers to her inner leg goings-ons as clams. Muscle clam, she called it. Anyway, I tend to go usually once a year. Still as beautiful as it was back then. How lovely. The furthest I get usually these days is Bridlington, and that's because my dad lives there, so I get free accommodation. Uh, right. Yes. Listen, Navi, tell me something about this wonderful blue flame. I must know. Navi, talk to me, please. I know I've spent the entire game telling you to shut the fuck up, but now I actually want to hear what you got to say. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> Uh, clams, cockles, whelks, and mussels are all different species, fair dues. I, uh, I don't eat that kind of thing hardly ever. Um, but I remember in the past when I have, they were all pretty gross. <laughs> Would I like a hint? Um, yeah, go on then. Oh, and winkles. <laughs> have the term winkle picker came about isn't it pick your winkles stop picking your winkle you'll go blind <laughs> tried them all not really a fan either no they all, they all just taste like salt water to be honest with a little bit of texture to it I do like my uh, seafood in terms I like fish uh, sorry, genre, if you're still in here. Genre's a mean biologist. So, uh, fish are friends, not food. But he'll happily eat my pork. So, you know. Guess we all got to draw a line somewhere. Is a winkle picker a euphemism for something? I mean, I always remember the, the, the winkle picker being as part of some uh, 80s comedian's set. The winkle picker. Oh, I was absolutely wrong. Winkle pickers or winkle pickers are a style of shoe or boot worn from the 1950s onward. Especially popular with British rock and roll fans such as Teddy Boys. Why is it called a winkle picker? Because the extremely pointed toe was called the winkle picker. Because in England, periwinkle snails or winkles are a popular seaside snack which is eaten using a pin or other pointed object to extract the soft parts out of the coiled shell carefully. Hence the phrase, to winkle something out. There you go. So a winkle picker could be a cocktail stick, or it could be an incredibly fashionable shoe from the 50s. Looks like some of the fucking Wicked Witch of the West would wear, but there we go. We learn something new every day. They all want a species to themselves and won't share. How very shellfish of them. Oh dear, Beardy, thank you for the hint. I will I will continue to just consider this in a moment, but I'm busy thinking about strange seaside 
uh, things. Fish are food and friends. Yeah, I eat my friends. Fuck's sake, John. It's one of my favourite pastimes, actually. Um... <laughs> Sorry to my mum who's probably going to watch this vlog tomorrow. You know what I'm like though. Right, so Beardy says I already have everything I need. Was the angle wrong? Did I have to do it from here perhaps? Maybe I was too close. No. Maybe there's something earlier in this level that I've like forgotten to pick up. No. Bunch of degens. I'm assuming you don't mean the uh, cool type of music. Oh, it's degens, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're degenerates. It's okay. No, I don't, no they're not degenerates. No. Deviants. <laughs> well, some of us are. Not all of us, you know. <laughs> there is no competition when it comes to deviants. It's just a case of, you know, some people get hornier than others. And that's fine. Some people don't. Uh, piss. Thank you for the lurk, Quaint Cat Lurking is indeed loving. Um, gonna find Mega Number 14 on your barbecue. Why? <laughs> Are you going to eat, Alex? <laughs> he has to consent, dude. It's like, I'm really, really, really fucking hungry. Alex, can I eat you, man? You know, not in a sexual sense. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 no homo. No, <laughs> not with you. Uh, I just want to roast you. <laughs> I just want to, like, gut you out and cook you and eat your flesh. Which is way less weird, right? Um, right, I'm going to go have a look elsewhere in the level, because this is just being problematic. Course, there is a different kind of roast. It depends on how many competitants, combatants, or com competitors. No, from participants that would work as well. Uh, what's behind that there? Oh, a skeleton thingy. Yeah, I'll take that, even though it's not what I'm looking for. It's quite a quick already, chum. But I still haven't found. What I'm looking for. You two get a bad rep. And for a lot of it, they deserve it. But the Joshua Tree, I just revisited it a couple of weeks ago for the first time in a very long time. That is a solid album. Like, a really solid album. Uh, of course, you're kind of thing where love and cannibalism are on a fine line. <laughs> Some nice tunes, but Bono's alright, bell end. Yeah, he does come across that way, doesn't he? I just really don't like people with impossible amounts of wealth telling poor people to give up their money for other poor people. It's like, that doesn't sit with me, mate. Oh, the fucking bats are back. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Hairy knackers to this level dungeon, whatever it is. I don't think I'm ready to be here. And then Beardy says that I am. Beardy says that I've got everything I need. But the flame doesn't work. Uh, the arrows don't work. Now the oil's gone. Ah! Bon Jovi Dry County is is an absolute fucking masterpiece of rock and roll up there. Not quite. It doesn't it doesn't get better than, and maybe just a tiny step below, like Freebird. It is an excellent song, truly. Richie Sambora is probably his best work, and people always remember how living on a prayer instead. Check out Dry County. It's a fucking tune. Um, 
now I'm imagining celebrity chefs as people who cook celebrities. <laughs> mm, yeah, okay. There was a clip going around. Some cooking show could have been could be one of three mystery ingredients in the sausage they were making: pork, shark, or human flesh. Given the illegality of the human flesh part, I'm going to hazard a guess it was pork or shark and given the immoral outrage about shark eating not pigs for some reason but shark eating i'd say it was pork no it was human flesh what it's, it's absolutely untrue absolutely untrue I, I i i i i cannot allow myself to believe that that happened because what <laughs> as if you would feed someone unwittingly human flesh fix set up staged and why aren't these people in prison? The ones that did it. <laughs> I've eaten some weird shit in my life, but not human flesh. It's not to my knowledge. Let me see if I can find this nonsense. Yeah, it will be. It'll be fake. It'll be a setup. Okay, so bollocks to that area, because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Greg Wallace walking to different workstation asking who they're cooking today. What you got for us today? Well, Greg, I'm cooking uh, half a slice of uh, Daniel Radcliffe topped with some uh, Emma Watson lettuce. <laughs> I think the person wasn't alive when they did this. Nevertheless, I am almost certain. Almost certain, because I can be wrong about these things, as everyone can, but I'm almost certain it is illegal to serve human flesh to anyone in any country. Right, I'm going to Kikiri, Kikiri Village. Cockery, cockery. I don't want cockaliki. I don't like cockaliki. I like cress. We'll take this back to the kitchen and tell the chef there's one more order for cress soup. And there's a laddie. It's legal to eat umbilical cords in the UK, but umbilical cord isn't the flesh of a living human. It, I mean, okay, technically. Also, the, it, they don't just serve it from burger vans at Bloodstock, do they? It's. <laughs> The person eating it is usually the parents, unless I guess you're, uh, you've got into the maternity career for really the wrong reasons. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you gonna be dead? <laughs> uh, no, I really wasn't planning on eating it. Would you mind? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, let's talk to them. What's it? Where? I'm there. <laughs> it, all right, it was definitely a prank. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was a case in Germany years ago where some bloke got in some legal trouble for eating someone with consent. I remember, yeah, he put like an advert out in the paper, didn't he, saying, I'm a cannibal and I want to eat somebody. And somebody replied with, yeah, okay, eat me. And he actually did. And again, got into a lot of trouble. Uh, umbilical cords and placenta apparently has all that good shit. So does kale, apparently. And I don't eat kale either, because that is grim. Even frying it up into eggs, kale is not good. And it gives me the worst IBS. Jesus. It's like such an irritant for my tummy. It's not good. Now you can keep your kale. I, I like spinach. I like green onions. Uh, so yeah, spring onions. Um, scallions, as they call them in America for some reason. Yeah, kale is a lovely person, but I don't like kale as in the, the vegetable. Leeks. Mm, leeks are delicious. Oh, Jesus. The burgers I made last night. All right, here's what I did. This is completely my own idea. I've never seen this online. I think it worked really well. The people I served them to said they were delicious, uh, but I think there is some slight tweaking that could be done. I think like a little heavy on the chili, um, but that's fine. So I defrosted a bag of corn chicken pieces and a box of Linda McCartney sausages overnight in the fridge. I then diced up two small onions fried them in olive oil uh, I added garlic tomato puree uh, 
seasonings and spices like some barbecue rub seasoning dash of chili sauce some henderson's relish uh some pick sweet pickled beetroot vinegar uh i think there's some of and then mushed it all together uh, 17 months. And like formed a patty, like a box of patty, so patty meat out of it, refrigerated it, then formed it into patties and uh, and, and and grilled them, and they were great. Well, look, seventeen months, my dears. It's uh, that's a long time, my dude. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for the resub. I truly, truly appreciate it, Beardy. You're looking like a snack. Beardy is a snack. I've met him. Mods are friends, not food. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Linda, McCart Linda McCartney sausages are actually vegetarian and don't contain any Linda McCartney. I should hope so, unless they've got some serious level preservatives going on in that meat. Because uh, I think she's been decomposing for a while. Uh, I'm here to wake up chicken dude, because I've got a uh, chicken now. Are you in here, chicken dude? Necromancy. Bit of a hey oisky poisky, how you doing my dude? Uh, bit of a chest infection, so I miss going to a lot of horrible gigs this weekend. What horrible gigs did you miss out on, my dude? Oh yeah, chicken boy. What in tarnation? Necromancy. Was oh, that the band or is that Linda McCartney? Linda Manecracy. Linda Mc Linda Linda Necroman ne Linda Ma ne Shut up, John. Um, castrated. Uh, I'd rather not. Crepitation. A uh, bunch of slam grind stuff with people I've not seen edges. It's not a. Uh, it's not a genre for me, but I know plenty of people that enjoy it and more power to you. Not too bad. Contemplating if I'll go with my partner to their parents for Sunday dinner or not. I mean, don't ever pass up a free Sunday dinner, my friend. I, I usually get one a year, which is Christmas. I don't want to attack the dude. I want to talk to him. There we go. Ingo took over Long Long Ranch and they call it Ingo Ranch nowadays. I was kicked out of there. And look at me now. My girl, Malin, still works at the ranch. I'm worried about her. But he says my girl. Is that his, like, missus? I thought it was his daughter. Not sure. Sun oh, always Sunday dinner. Honestly, there's a... Well, they have not been in many, many, many years, but there used to be uh, an absolutely cracking carvery about a mile and a half, two-mile walk from where I'm sat. Uh, but these days, I think, especially on Sundays, they put the prices up, and I think it's like 13 quid now, and it's just like... Nah. <laughs> Right, so I've woke up chicken dude, and he says that uh, Malon still... Malon? Malon? In Ingle? Ingo? Still works at the ranch. I'm going back to the ranch. I want, a, I want a horse. What? Yeah, I've been there. I couldn't figure it out. Leave me alone. <laughs> Git. Oh, I'm so discombobulated with the whole changing of the clocks. I don't like it. I mean, I do. I'm gonna like the nice, late, lighter, lighter nights. Oh, look at that! Thank you. Shower me with your love. Not in that way. Thank you. No love showers here. Not all the cameras are on. Yeah, don't worry, man. Your phones and everything will have done it all automatically, but the clocks went forward this morning. So, although it is the clock reads 2:30, if you were going by yesterday's clock, it'll be half one. I thought it was a spring solstice sushi. Uh, I could be wrong, though. I forget where it all happens. Yeah, because summer solstice is the middle of August, isn't it? As it happened, I uh, had a fire last night. Not for the spring solstice, but more... Uh, uh, more because I ripped down the shed and the the wood needed burning. So that happened last night. And then made burgers, and then watched Terminator, the original Terminator, which is such a fucking great film. Like, really, really great. Uh, 
We tried to watch a movie called the Simmerinkelinkel. Simmerinkelinkel. That's what it was called. Uh, it's a brand new horror film, and we got about twenty-five minutes in before we managed to uh, uh, before we managed to before we had to switch it off because it just wasn't. It, it, it was what it tried to do was very original and experimental didn't translate over to an entertaining experience and that's what we wanted last night we didn't want to be you know art viewers even though terminator is technically art it was it was crap <laughs> Um, what kind of burgers? Veggie burgers. I made my own version of veggie burgers with all kinds of weird shit in and it tasted really good. I was really happy with them. Um, summer solstice is sometime in June. Yeah, that sounds about right. 21st issue of June. Thank you, Susie. Uh, as long as it's not my in-laws, I'll stay home and cook my own damn roast. Oh, really? You don't know what your in-laws? I got on with mine relatively okay. We fell out sometimes, but you do with your in-laws, don't you? Um, right. I need it to be daytime. Oh, I've got a song for that, haven't I? I keep forgetting that I've learnt a song which can control the sun. Just like, throw that in Ganondorf's face. That's not it. That's the song of time. Hmm. Some of them are mine. Some of mine are ace, but one of them is not. There we go. Um. I take this opportunity to say that at least <laughs> almost 50% of us voted for you in the last election. I appreciate that. <laughs> then the film, Warlock. God, is there any obscure movie quote this man doesn't know? Fuck yeah, of course, Busters 2. Right, you. I don't know if you can do anything for me yet. Pay me 10 rupees and you can ride. Ride. Do you want to hear how to ride? No. Where's the super horse? All right, okay, I need to play the song. How does the song go? I don't know the song. <laughs> Ostara, aka the Spring Equinox, was the 20th of March this year. Oh, there we go. I did not know that. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. The Pona song. That's how it goes in my head. song equine phallic impalement what come on look how good I am I'm pretty sure there's a way to keep this horse I just can't remember what it is I remember very little about this game just for anyone that is viewing I know it says first play in the uh, description and that is technically kind of true i played this when it came out when i was a kid never got past the water temple but there are vague smatterings of bits i do remember uh one of them is apparently you can take this horse out of here but i just don't remember how to do it am i supposed to just wait the clock out on this horse or Time's up, young man. You only paid 10 rupees. You've played around long enough. Tight git. Moustache looks like man. All crooked and wonky. Nah. Scram, you little punk. My lovely horse. <laughs> like the theme from Black Beauty. Hell yeah. Hi. Does that impress you? I got the horse over here. Do you know what? You can go with the fucking ice cavern up your ass as well. Up my ass. Up anyone's ass. It's not... I know what I meant. Uh, <laughs> just play the fucking note. Hmm. 
So where is Malon if uh, if Ingot is here? I've got to hate you chickens. You say she still works at the ranch. Where is she? I feel gypped. I feel cheated. I feel like I really want a Sunday roast now. Warlock, get a train, car, bus, uh, or electric bike to a hole, please. I really want a Sunday dinner. Made some uh, but apparently Michelin star chips last night. Although I kind of fucked up on the third phase of the cook, so I don't think they ended up quite as good as they could have. But they were still pretty spectacular, so I'll take that. They were delicious, like really delicious. Oh, for God's sake! This is this is flashbacks to my childhood, just running around high roll, not knowing what the fuck to do. Michelin staff. I never played Zelda. I missed all of Mario and Zelda games. Same. This is only my second Zelda game. The first one being the one I did on stream about eight months to a year ago now. A link to the past. I still need to do. Apparently, there's Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Sword Princess, or something. Uh. Right. I am going to heed the words of Monsieur Bidet. Oh my good god, there's a ghost in the field. Fuck off. Um, and I'm going to go back to... Can you not? Like, Beardy, are you absolutely 110% sure what you told me is accurate? As in, I have everything in my inventory I need to get past the frozen fountain bit. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Okay. If it turns out you're wrong, then uh, um, you are going to have to brew me a special chunk-flavoured beer. Mm. I want the taste of ginger nut biscuits and liquid smoke. There you go. That's the beer I want. Not sure on a whole dungeon, but you can 100% use the blue fire. I need to play Breath of the Wild. I've been about two hours in for five years. <laughs> Apparently it only takes me two and a half hours to drive to Hull. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, I, I know you're somewhere in, in, in the Greater Manchester area. Uh, that's not doxing because that's just fucking huge. <laughs> Um, chunk flavoured beer tastes like ginger nuts. Yeah, love a good ginger beer. They, they do tend to give me heartache. Heartache? No, that sounds like they break up with me. Uh, heartburn. <laughs> uh, yeah, like these, the ginger, alcoholic, alcopop, ginger beer, like kind of things. And the dandelion and burdock ones. Oh my god, they give me the worst heartburn and indigestion. Uh, so maybe that's not good for my. Other people might enjoy my ginger nuts, but I don't think I would. So I need to think about what I would, what would a me flavored beer taste like? The chocolate cake I made a couple of days ago is pretty goddamn spectacular. But I don't think, I don't think I'd taste like maybe, maybe, maybe I would be a chocolatey stout. I definitely like my vanilla, vanilla chocolate stout with ginger. Yes, and infused with THC. Yes, what are you trying to say, Bambi? Are you trying to say I'm some sort of pothead? Oh. How rude! <laughs> I am at the minute. It's keeping me. It's kind of keeping me sane. Uh, in a in a in a way, I've done a lot of development over the past couple of weeks in terms of like therapy and mental health. But I'm still like processing a lot of it. Let me in. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. Salty, spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a chocolate porter on the go at the moment, actually. Nice. I like my uh, porters. What? 
kiss my grits. Um, I do like a porter. Uh, I like, uh, there was one in Breadshed years ago. In fact, I still even might have been Pub Zoo at the time. And it was something like a chocolate marshmallow and raspberry porter. And it was like nearly seven pound a pint, but it was back in the days when I had money. And I got very drunk on it. <laughs> Is that the one? No, that's my horsey song. God damn it, so if it's... So bad at remembering those song buttons, man. Uh huh. Yeah, salty, spicy. Got to be chocolatey as well. It's got to be got to be an element of sweet in there. I suppose the the spicy, the heat could actually come from the ginger because it does leave a little bit of a tinge. It's nice. Maybe just the tiniest. <laughs> Tiny little hint of Szechuan peppercorns. That'd be nice. I do like that kind of special, unique burn that comes from Szechuan. Mm, I've got some Szechuan pepper in the cupboard. I might have to make a Szechuan tofu or something at some point. Oh, what? I can't even get past the sausage. Duh! I can't use sticks as a kid, so it can't be that. Let's go back to that place. Uh, I made a curry base with some Szechuan in it. It's well nice. Yes, lad. <clears throat> Delicious. So next Saturday, uh, <laughs> my brother very kindly bought me a ticket uh, to go to an event in Hull. Um, called Bongo's Bingo and apparently it's a 90s themed rave with interactive bingo games on the dance floor like they, they you have to be there for you, the, the event starts at 6 in the evening the doors close at half 7 in the evening so you've got to be in before then uh, and it's meant to be absolute carnage and I can't wait I've been saying for a while now I, I really fancy a good 90s night. Uh, it does, yeah, Bongo's Bingo, it's called, and it's held at the uh, University Student Union. I think it's next Saturday. Apparently, occasionally, people like Pat Sharp turn up and just stand there in a mullet, I guess. Who would have thought the mullet would ever come back as a fashion? So many people out there with mullets. It's, 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 it's beautiful as it is crazy. You know, if 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 Bloody Ladbrokes was taking bets on what hairstyle would come back in the 2020s, I would never, ever have gone for mullet, <laughs> mullet and porno tash. But there it is. All right. So Beardy says I have 100% everything I need to get this bit done. I'm not sure if I believe him, but he seems very, very steadfast in his beliefs. through the blue flames. I've tried that from multiple angles. It doesn't work. Oh, I thought I was going to get it then. Do you know what? Bollocks to you. You weird blue bat. Oh! So he tries and does this again. See? Not that. 
This blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Yes, Navi, thank you for all of your help. Your deep, insightful wisdom into my current predicament. What would I do without you? Get. But without a stick and arrows that don't work, I am truly, truly confuddled. Absolute bollocks. The pawn stash is timeless. <laughs> my moustache actually needs a trim. Every, everything in my face needs a trim, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, getting a bit out of control. Uh, but I'm going to do it. Remember, stream anniversary party tomorrow. Completely unplanned, as always. You know, what do you expect? It's my channel, for God's sake. Um, but there will be uh, a game of Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, where the mod team, those that are available, are going to try and help me uh, defuse a bomb. I can see the bomb. They can't. They have an instruction manual. I do not. So over voice chat, they're going to teach me how to disarm this bubba bomb. There will also be a short music reaction stream, uh, and I'm thinking of playing the Resident Evil 2 remake, because I know you guys love it when I play horror games, even though I can't stand it, but this part is all about you guys supporting me and getting me to this rather magnificent milestone. So I think it's only fair that I give something back, even if it is my brown stained underwear. Go on. <sighs> Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> and all the girlies say, baby's fire for a white guy. Bottle it. What, Resident Evil 2? You can put a fire in a bottle. I can understand health potion. I can understand fairies. You can't put fire in a bottle. There's no oxygen. It won't last. Well, kiss my ass. Apparently, it is exactly how you do it. Got a feeling I might need more bottles. I never would have guessed that. Never. Never, 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 never. I'm very, very low on water. Ooh, stale from last night. Mm, delicious. Okay, I don't want to do that now. Right, so I guess I tip the blue. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Cheers, baby. I guess that would have warranted a change the screen, you fucking cock one, but actually, but I'm glad no one did it. <laughs> Ugh, the other day I was on stream without actually realising I was on stream. Uh, and I only was, I was only wearing my underpants, which is good because normally I don't even wear underpants. Could have been a lot worse. Streaming little chunk. I mean, in comparison, yes. <laughs> Oh, is this officially a dungeon? I just thought it was a cave. Right, you're a pot bottle. I don't want you. Well, actually, I'll fill up my thingy now. Do you anyone else sometimes get old adverts jingles just stuck in their heads? For the past couple of weeks, I've had this one going around my head. Uh, Mama, likes a, Mama likes a nice cod piece that does not swim in grease. With crisp and fry, the food stays crisp and dry. Or crisp and dry, whatever. Anyway, I'm in the lab, but... <laughs> Everyone stop hurting me, please. Alright, so what's in here? This is... I mean, okay, so it just threw itself at me. It doesn't seem to be anything behind this. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a passageway. Ah. Hey, 
Hey, Alpaca, how's it going? Uh, cold seal windows. Oh, eight hundred double two double one double five. <laughs> Well, once upon a time there were three little pigs and the old crew went look for somewhere to live. One little piggy went and said to himself, I think you get some windows, uh, I think I get some windows that you put in yourself. Well, along came the wolf who was rough and tough and he looked at the windows and he saw they were duff, so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. Eh, eh, sausage sunny. <laughs> that was old school, was that? That, 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 that was so popular that if you went into a branch of cold seal windows they had that advert on cassette i know this because at the time i was working at cold seal it was my first ever job it was called calling uh people to see if they wanted new windows what a horrendous job that was <laughs> and it's one of those jobs where there was absolutely there was no there was no pay unless you got a window sill uh, you never heard that one. It was, it was, uh, I mean, I guess it depends, like, I don't know if it was all over England or if it was just in the north of England. I don't know if you were around uh, at that time, because we're talking, like, 90, 98, 99, something like that. Uh, for me, it's the Aquafresh toothpaste. Uh, oh, God, yeah, I remember that. As you can, Aquafresh has all three. Aquafresh for your family. Oh, you live in the USA? Oh, you definitely won't get it then. Uh, the radio ones get me a lot. Yeah, there's something to say about a good, uh, definitely good ear one. Let me just see if I can. Surely that's on YouTube somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, honestly, these streams really knacker my YouTube algorithm, by the way. <laughs> Whoa! I just typed Cold Seal and the first thing on the search line is Cold Seal Windows 3 Pigs radio advert. This is the greatest radio advert ever. Well, okay. Oh, it's called Glevum Windows in the Gloucestershire area, not Cold Seal. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Glevum in... In the same one. Well, once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and they each built a house so that somewhere to live. And the first little pig, as he was building his house, said, I think I'll get some windows that you put in yourself. Well, along came a wolf, he was mean, he was tough, and he looked at the windows, he could see they were dumb. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he huffed. Sausage sandwich. <laughs> once upon a time, there were two little pigs, and they each built a house so that somewhere to live. And the second little pig thought his idea was good. He said, I think I'll get some windows that they make out of wood. Well, along came a wolf. He was rough. He the windows. He could see they were dumb. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he huffed. A bacon butty. <laughs> once upon a time, there was one little pig, and he built himself a house so it's somewhere to live. He called Gleave them windows and put them to the test. Cause everybody knows the Gleaving Wind is a mess. Well, along came a wolf and he tried and he tried and he huffed and he puffed and he eventually died. Well, the little piggy laughed. I'm so happy I dialed. Oh, it hundred double three double two double five. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, but in, in, in Hull it was Cold Seal Windows, not Glevum, and the number at the end was wrong. Clearly they trade under different names throughout, the, or traded from different names throughout the UK. Oh, God, I turned that up, didn't I? Uh, piss off. Let me turn down a bit more for you. But yeah, you go. Little bit of a uh, little bit of my history there. And uh, my history, I say, like I had any part in it. I heard it once, therefore it's part of my history. <laughs> Actually, I heard it many times. Okay, so clearly I need to get all these silver buggers. Is this movable? It looks like it. Right, I'll have that one. So yeah, there you go. That was the Cold Seal Windows advert. Oh, Gle Glevum Windows if you were in Gloucestershire, apparently. I don't even know where Gloucestershire is, to be honest. I know it's south. It sounds like it's where rich people live. <laughs> you think of Yorkshire, you just think of pie and taters and, and very little wealth. <laughs> Gloucestershire sounds like... You know, quaint, quaint little cobblestone villages where they still have like a, a, a parish community meeting once a week and basically hot fuzz. <laughs> Chips and gravy! Um, 
So I still have ads from local radio from the 90s still word for word in my brain, but can't remember why I walked into a room. It's something to do with human brains and, and the retention of knowledge of music. Ah, there's, uh, there's some really cool videos on YouTube of like, uh, like people with uh, like complete dementia get played a song from their past and they, like, they sort of like come alive a bit. And they're like, oh, I remember this. Oh, yeah, we would go dancing and all that. Good video. It's quite wholesome. I, was, I, was, I, really, I mean, I really hope I don't get dementia. I think I'm pretty sure I've got early onset because I just don't remember anything anymore. But hey, huh? So there's these uh, YouTube videos where um, people with dementia listen to music. Now, I'm <coughs> In 40 years, it'll be crazy frog. You're not far off. It's where Hot Fuzz is set. Yeah, the greater good. And that needs to be a sound redeem. Are good. I have no idea what to do here. Hang on. Surely I need to push that against that. And then to the way. And then to the way. So that I can refill my blue fire. Hey. A great big bushy beard. <laughs> Crusty jugglers. <laughs> I do love chips and gravy. Mm. Yorkshire tea is all I think. It's a damn fine tea, it's got to be said. Contrary to popular belief, it's not the best tea in the world. And I am a Yorkshireman, but I am also a Yorkshireman without bias. <laughs> and Yorkshire tea is lovely, but it is not the best in the world. When was the last time you saw a fucking tea plantation in Yorkshire anyway? Okay, so that's screwed. Uh, can I just push it off the edge and start again? I'd like that. Patrick Stewart has it right. Tea, all grey, hot. Oh, do you mean Patrick Stewart or Jean-Luc Picard? Oh, hello, there's somewhere I can go there. Right, so if I push this against that, and then push it that way, that looks good to me. And now I have a blue flame. He doesn't like Earl Grey. He wants Yorkshire gold. Sean Luke, you have lied to us all. Bastard. You mean Patrick Stewart isn't actually Jean Luc Picard? He's, a, he's an actual person called Patrick Stewart. I thought that was part of the, the lie. Right, okay, so that's that done. How the hell do I get up there? I need to push this into, into the ocean. Thank you. Not, not the ocean, just that little weird bit there. Uh, okay, so how did I get to that? I think I need to... Huh. Let's push it that way. Then that way. Ooh, I like this. There you go, Picard. Where's the ball cube? Tin, tin, tin. What? <laughs> tin, tin, tin. What? I don't get that one, dude. Sorry. Actually, is that going to work? No, it's not. This is going to work, though. Oh, yes. Well done, Chug. Yes. Matter than you look. That doesn't say much. Oh, no. Hang on. That's just to get the flame. Well, I may as well get a flame while I'm here, right? No, that is, that is right. Because then I'm going to be able to push it this way. Yeah, and then push it that way towards the wall, he says, with his voice raising towards the end. It's a question, it's not a good question. <clears throat> no, that's wrong. That is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. They don't know what TV show that's from? Probably, it's quite an obvious one, I think. Maybe it's West Side Yorkshire. <laughs> it's a famous Yorkshire phrase when something is not in a tin. Tin, tin, tin. <laughs> tin, as in it isn't. Tin, as in in a tin. Tin, tin, tin. <laughs> well, it's tin, tin. <laughs> it's in tin shop window anymore, love. Got it. Absolutely got it. Well done, Warlock. You're more Yorkshire than me. <laughs> <laughs> tin, tin, tin! Off on tip road. One out. 
<laughs> poor, poor people coming to this country, like trying to learn the language to fit in and stuff. And it's like <laughs> I am going to the place with the high street where the high street shops are. Would you like me to get you anything while I'm there? Off what road? One out. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Twerk is it where a Yorkshireman goes every morning. Where are you off? Twerk? <laughs> off to work. I like it. I love it. It's so true. <laughs> it's painful. Um, right. Come on, Chuck. How the fuck do you get to that bit? So don't get to that bit. I need to line up with that bit. Oh, okay. Hang on. I think I can I think I can do that. If I push this this way, no, it's gonna go off. Now let me go off in the way the cool kids say, oh man, it's gonna fucking go off. It's like, no, it's gonna go off as in it's gonna fall off and that'd be bad. I don't understand young person speak anymore. I understand Yorkshire though. I will never understand it. So it's, it's just a local uh, dialect thing, I guess. I'm sure you have that in America or Canada or indeed anywhere. Surely different regions have different, like, different ways of saying things. Like, uh, like, like, Jordy. I don't know the best Jordy actually, but it's like, uh, uh, Gunnar Telman. <laughs> Twerk Yorkshire people. Laughs in Australian slang. Yeah. What about Australia? Like, you know, uh, oh, truth. <laughs> I don't know how to get... Right, I'm not concentrating, that's why. I'm just laughing at, at accents. <laughs> how did you spend your mornings? How did you spend your Sunday afternoon, Chunk? Well, I sat and laughed about accents. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hang on. No, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that could work, that could work. No, it couldn't. No, could it? Yes, it could. Right. Grab. Push. No, that isn't going to work. Piss. Grab, push, piss. Right. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of my Sunday. Um, I will never understand that. I'm amazed Korean Billy didn't have a mare of a time. Who's Korean Billy, dude? Meanwhile, Tintin, cleverly disguised as a door, had his brass knob shot off. Oh. Poor Captain Haddock. Him and Tintin were definitely in it together in it together in each other together <laughs> sorry we shouldn't sexualize her jay's adventure to tintin some things are just sacred um young people lost me when sick stopped meaning disgusting and meant amazing yeah i was oh mate that's sick like really you ever been sick it fucking sucks i don't get it why is why is that sick now Back in my day, sick meant not very well. Right, you're going that way. And then... I want you that way. So which do needs to be resting against? No, it's, it's that one, isn't it? So... How? Right, I might have to just stop thinking about accents and uh, Tintin and Captain Haddock in a, a loving embrace. And I might have to stop and think about this game for a sec. I mean, is it an angle thing? So if I go up there, I'm just going to go up against there and back up against there. That's not what I want, so... Let's just push it that way. Does it does it fall down? It doesn't. I mean, I, I might be able to make that. I can probably make that. Yeah, see? Sick is from the 80s, as is bad being good. I show my age by saying, that's mint. Yeah, when I, when I feel I want to talk to my quote-unquote my people, I watch the royal family. I don't mean the actual 
you know, the King and Queens and shit of England. I don't give a fuck about them. But the BBC sitcom mm. Royal Family. That's the kind of people, the kind of, like, families that I knew growing up with. Not mine, but, like, a lot of my friends' families were a lot like that, which is why I love it so much. It's, it's absolutely spot on. Oh, hello. This looks like a boss fight room. It is! It's okay. Just you. Get. Come here. Have it. That was quick. Oh, two hits. Seriously. I found it hard to... Oh, I loved it. It's like, it's like a trip down memory lane. I knew I knew a family, a particular family, where it was, it was almost like it must have been based on them. It was that close to it. What happened to them? They're probably still just, you know, pottering around being a family. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. Oh! Oh, it's not <laughs> Oh, I pressed something. What did I press? <laughs> There's a fast forward button. Hi. <laughs> the bouquet residence, the lady of the house speaking. Looking for a Mrs. Bucket. <laughs> bouquet. Richard. <laughs> okay. Keeping up appearances. Damn, man. That's kind of a forgotten gem of comedy. It is for me anyway. I totally forgot that existed, but what, what, what a ridiculous and, and fantastic comedy that was. Very, very British. Hyacinth Bucket is my mother to a T. Oh, God, I feel sorry for you, man. <laughs> oh, I blame Michael Jackson for starting it all by using bad to be good. Yeah, good point actually. Bad, bad, really, really bad. If you came here to make the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. Okay. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Mm. Keeping up appearances hasn't aged well. I mean, a lot of things haven't. Uh, you have to, I, I, I you, no, you don't have to at all. When I watch things like that, I watch them in the brain set of someone who was a member of society at that time. Uh, I, I, I find old comedies, um, especially stuff like Porridge and Rising Damp and even to a degree like Only Fools and Horses, uh, I see it as a, a, it is a comedy because some of them are still funny even if they're very inappropriate and non-PC. Um, but I also see them as like a history lesson, like a like a look at the, look. This was what was accepted as mainstream comedy back in the seventies. That's less than fifty years ago. Oh, it is just over fifty years ago. Whatever. But yeah, and it's like this is this is how much social uh, social attitudes have changed. Mostly for the better, some for the worse. I don't know. It's a very different. Uh, it's it's a very difficult conversation because everyone finds different things funny. Um, I mean, your mother to a quet. I don't get that one, dude. Sorry. <laughs> I want to see if waiting for God age. Well, I don't remember waiting for God. I, I know the name. I don't think I remember it. it. Most of it was one actor being allowed to just ham it up and be nuts. Nice. Even in the context of the time, there are things in keeping up appearances which weren't okay at the time. Could could you give me an example, please, Susie? I'm, I'm interested. I think in the context of time, some stuff ages badly, not because the phrases used fell out, but the more the way we joke about stuff changed, because people who use certain language became problematic and ruined it. I think that's fair, totally fair. Hey, good morning, Sir Carnage, or good afternoon, even. How I am? Okay, a bit sleepy, a bit Sunday grog, you know, as it goes. Uh, it was two old people in an old folks' home. Yeah, waiting for God, I think I vaguely remember that. What are you on about, you guys? Young love will become deep affection, bollocks. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Just enough with the poetry and tell me where to go. Ah, teach me a song, that'll do. Golden Girls, my God, that is a, that is a blast from the past.
Where's that going to take me? To the water temple. Cool. Oops. All right, only for the big red cross. I know I got it wrong. The, 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 the obnoxious clonking sound was enough for that. Feels like Monday, huh? Very good, Warlock. I awoke from my slumber and now smothering myself with tablet entertainment. My goodness. Should try Nutella. It's way nicer. <laughs> Someone has a case of the Mondays? I, uh, here's just a random fact about me that nobody wanted to know. I get really grossed out when people try and involve food with sex. And it just, oh my god, it makes me feel so ill. Like, oh, should I get the squirty cream out? No. No. Squirty cream comes after the sex, okay? Ice cream and shh, like a sundae. That's, that's acceptable. Don't put it on you. Oh, don't put it on me. Oh, oh. Ugh, no, it really grosses me out, and not many, not many things about sex grosses me out, but food really does. How about eating pizza during? Hmm. I suppose if it's a side to the sexual activity, and you're not actually involving it in the act, like there is a day out there apparently for steak and blowjob day, where if you wish to partake. Oh, well, sex is delivered whilst the steak is being eaten. At least that's my understanding of it. I've never taken part in it. It could just be that you have a steak and then go to bed and have sex and have a blowjob. I don't know. I did have an idea once for a um, a YouTube vlog series, but I one day I may put it into uh, I may plan it and put it into action. But the idea was to spend an entire year and celebrate every international day that there is. Because you can have like international, obviously international like Women's Day and stuff like that. But you can have like International Potato Day, International Sandwich Day. A lot of them do around for our food. Uh, international uh, Drug Awareness Day. I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> I made myself very aware of drugs. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. So like, imagine like a video every day with like this is International So and So Day. So for this, I'm going to be doing this, 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 and this. Hmm. Same time efficiency. <laughs> Do you know how long I have spent in my life making love? <laughs> Twelve minutes. And that included the time it took to eat the pizza. <laughs> Twelve minutes. I have spent more time in my life being sick. <laughs> uh, don't tell me that, man. I'm a little lamb. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> oh, Alpaca, that is not the case. I have spent longer than 12 minutes in my life having sex. It was a quote from a British comedy called Red Dwarf, uh, which I forget doesn't always translate. <laughs> it's when he remakes and remembers it. <laughs> oh, you really fell for it last night, didn't you, old listy? Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, that's an idea I've always had. I've had that for years, the whole let's do a exploration of every international day that there is. I think it could be a lot of fun, but it'd also be one hell of a lot of work. Um, and I guess you'd have to start on January 1st, so I kind of missed the boat this year. Hello. Ah, you would be suitable for some steel shoes. But then I'm going to drown. And then I die. Yeah, you need. I mean, I really, I should start doing the research now, but I'm not going to because I can't concentrate on things for that long at the moment. <laughs> hey, where have we where have we ended up? Hi. So can I just leave now? Yeah, that's not good, is it? That's very slow. Wee, that's better. Are they money or are they silver thing? I don't care. I just want to get out of here now. Get me the hell out of here. That's the way back to the beginning, maybe? Maybe I should play that new song I learned that I've completely forgotten. Lead boots. Pang, 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 pang. I will sleep with the fishes. Don't get upset, genre. I'm not really... 
I will not have sexy time with fish. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Good. Get me the hell out of there. I don't want to be in there anymore. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Mm -hmm. Who let the dogs out? God, that was huge when it came out, wasn't it? I keep meaning, I've, I've downloaded it ready, but I keep meaning to listen to uh, the classic like Outcast albums. You know, they have like Hey Ya on it and stuff. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. I apologize a million times. Oh, I didn't mean to make you doggy cry, something like that. Where am I going? I don't know there's money. Is there something nice in the middle? I hope so. All roads lead to a heart piece! Yay! Probably take the boots off now, though. Thanks. <laughs> He's very placid about his situation, isn't he? Probably more efficient ways to get to the surface. Have you heard Afro Man's song to the cops that raided his house? I have not. The only Afro Man song I know is. Uh, I was gonna go to church, and then I got high. Or school, or work, or whatever. Um, I am for eels. What about mermaids? I am for eels, Jesus Christ. Uh, what about mermaids? Have I missed a mermaid? Mr. Mermaid. Mr. Mermaid. Why don't you tell it like it is? Uh, that guy, he took the video footage of the police raiding his house and sang over it about them being assholes. Nice. The only other thing I remember about Afro Man was him powerhousing uh, a drunk woman who got up on stage with him, who was dancing behind him. I believe this was quite soon after... Uh, I think it was the shootings in Paris at the Eagles of Death Metal gig. And... It, like you could see this person on stage out of the corner of his eye that wasn't meant to be there and without turning around and checking to see who it was or what they were doing he just turned around and knocked them clean out and carried on playing his guitar one hell of a punch as well uh bit of bit of ott it was, wasn't really quite necessary but i also understand that if you're thinking hey nutcases out there are getting on stage and just basically shooting people or whatever let's not do that dime bag as well obviously getting killed uh sure not good Oh jeez, song is called "Will You Help Me Repair My Door?" <laughs> but yeah, that it was, it was quite savage. Like it's, it's on YouTube, you can see. It. I won't broadcast it on the internet because it's it's quite <laughs> no pun intended. It's quite hard hitting. You don't have don't have knock a clean out. Jesus. <laughs> oh, apologies. There's about fish. I'm thinking, what about mermaids? I see. But not actually, to be honest. Um. So I've got the boots, but I don't know where to go. I like the big lake. How did I get to the big lake? There was... There was a lake somewhere. <laughs> I think it's... Let's get back to the world map. I say the world map, the, the main hub map. No! Yeah. Ah! Dick. Gotta run. Need to do some coughing. Okay, dude. I hope it's uh, light to <laughs> coughing. It doesn't cause too much problems on the old esophagus. Yeah, I would play that, uh, but lungs are bullshit. Been coughing so much, my head hurts now. Gee, you got COVID, dude. Thank you for the good luck wishes. I've got a feeling that the, the lake is somewhere, maybe that bottom corner there, right in the bottom, bottom left, perhaps. Or maybe that bit in the middle. I wish I had the horse. I don't know how to get the horse. I know there's a way to get the horse, but I don't know what that way is. 
Just a chest infection of some kind. Okay, dude. Well, I hope you have antibiotics and I hope it passes swiftly. A carrot and wire cutters. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, in real life, I'm not the biggest fan of horses. I think they're too big, too strong, and too dumb to be trusted. Especially the really big ones, like the police horses. Jesus Christ. You ever seen an actual, like, police horse? People rode them into battle, and they are big. They are ridiculously big. Like, really quite intimidating, which I guess is the entire point when you're a, when you're a, when you're a police horse. Hello, what's all this? I think I've been there before. Shire horses are fucking... Is that what they're called? Shire horses. They are huge. Okay. So what's happening here? Something happened in here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there telling me I got to beware. And stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Garuda Valley! Isn't the Ganondorf guy, isn't he a Garuda? Wasn't he the Garuda chief, or is that something else? Not sure. Oh, I just got a real, real instant craving for stuffing. Instant stuffing craving. Not instant stuffing. I prefer to make my own. I make, I do make, a, it's been a couple of years, but I do make an absolutely phenomenal apple, chestnut, and pork stuffing. <laughs> Don't tend to eat a lot of meat these days because I just can't afford it. Okay, too strong for bombs. I don't think this is where I'm meant to be going, is it? Can't reach anywhere. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Let's get out of here. I was looking for the lake anyway. Who wants an instant stuffing? Well, beardy. <laughs> Buy me a drink first, you know? Relaxes everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, children. Who needs meat when you got 17 piece scoops? I'm gonna call them scoops from now on. Spaghetti hoops, scoops. Uh, hi, oh me, I do, Danny. The horniest of horn monsters is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Never done anything like it, I thought I was bad. Yeah, I don't actually have any 17-piece spaghetti hoops at the minute. I'm still... I'm, I'm kind of going on spaghetti hoop protests because they put them up by a penny. I like my 16-p hoops. If, they, if they've upgraded the price to 17p, I want to know why. I want to be able to taste that extra penny, you know? I hope they've got rid of the slight chemical metallic tint that comes with it. Maybe maybe that's what they've done. Maybe they've coated the inside of the tin. Here I thought Val was a filth wizard. I mean, he is. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Danny has been dubbed in the Discord Queen Vulvagia. <laughs> uh, um, and I think that's really funny. I was going to make a penny taste joke, but you got there first. Yes, yes. Um, you're going to be absolutely nothing, aren't you? Memory serves. You can save these for something. I can't remember what it's for. Maybe I can eat it. Too quick. Well, you know. That's what people always say to me, but when it comes to me and sex, far too quick. <laughs> I mean, if they do, they've, they've, they've never actually said it to me. They're, they're at least kind enough to, you know, consider my feelings before saying such hurtful things. Uh, okay, so I think this is where I want to be, but I've got a feeling I can't climb that fence. Fuck. Where in the piss do I go? Is there a ladder at the other side of that? Oh, there it is. Fart too quick, yeah. <laughs> I sent a recording of my fart to Uki last night. 
It's, it, it wasn't. It, I mean, it was semi unsolicited. We, we, we've discussed before how hilarious farts are. So I recorded one and sent it to. It's not the first time I've done it to her either. She's fine with it. Don't worry. She shows me really gross things on the internet, like people getting their out of control dry foot skin removed. <laughs> We're basically trying to outgross each other, and there's nothing grosser than my bod bodily air expulsion. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, John. Oh, look at that, the lake's empty. Hey, up. So I'm guessing. Oh, shit, is, is this it? Is this the water temple? Oh, my God, have I made it to the water? Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. What's what's this? Uh I don't know what to do. A fantastic idea, Beardy. A little little bit offensive, but a fantastic idea. <laughs> Nibirian, how you doing? Uh, I can't seem to use anything underwater. Can I use my hook shot underwater? Let's have a little look, shall we? I can. I missed. That is not the way. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something else around here I can do. Uh, I really hate people. Someone crashed into my car in a car park. Uh, I left a note being like, so sorry I scraped your car and left the number. So I thought, well, at least they were decent enough to leave contact details. So I just rang the number and they denied it and was like, you have the wrong number. What? Hi. What a bastard, yeah. Car park got to see TV. Most of them don't. Uh, I've had a similar incident where someone... I was, I was at the gym a while back, so I don't have a car anymore. But yeah, someone like backed into my car and knackered the bloody bumper, the rear bumper. Uh, it was like the week I was about to give it back to the lease place as well. And obviously they'd have charged me for that. So I rang up and I said, look, this has happened. What are you going to charge me? And they were like, oh, that'd be about, like, £150. And I was like, right, okay. I rang a garage. I took it to a garage. I was like, hey, man, how much to fix that? And he was like, oh, looking about 200 quid there, mate, and a three-week uh, a three, a three week wait. And I was like, right, fuck that. Yeah, 150 fine, do it. But, yeah, the bastard just drove off. He must have heard it crunch, you know. Everyone knows when they're fucked up in a car. But, yeah, what a bastard. Jesus, I was like, I better take my steel boots off, but I have. <laughs> right, so, I need to figure out a way into that play. How do I open the door? Hitting the thing didn't help. Let's have a look in this house. <laughs> Slipped out there. Thank you, Sushi. <laughs> Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Interesting face you've got there, fella. Perhaps you met that odd lady, old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. <laughs> farts will always be funny. There is never a time when farts won't be funny. Anything at the bottom of here. I'm a little late. I had to buy beer. That's quite okay, Sushi. I appreciate you spending your uh, 10 bits on farts. Is that a shark? Oh, this area is pointless. Uh, right, let's play that. That song. That serenade of water or whatever the fuck. What a pointless house you have. This is a lovely room of death. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not going to remember. 
with that one. Maybe I am. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, first time. I am at Lake Hylia, and this is a special bit it walks me to. Like a platform that I can't reach without it. Oh, 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 and... Oh, okay. Hello. What's this? Why aren't you letting me read it? There's clearly something there. Just in case that does something. I can't be sure. Nothing, fa la la. Oh, there you go. When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. Well, there's definitely no water in the lake. I'm not full enough anyway. But shoot for the morning light, you mean throw an arrow at the sun. Right, okay, not throw an arrow. Like, you know, won't get very far if you throw it. To be fair, you also can't really hit the sun with an arrow because it's, it's quite far away, you know. Hello, vulture. Take your time, old oh man. These vultures are happy to wait. I fucking love that song. You ever want to hear a song that you can tell is born from, like, pain? Then Big Business's song, I'll Give You Something to Cry About, is fucking beautiful in its bleakness and anger and sorrow and... Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Oh, hey, dudes! You all gonna, anyone gonna give me something that I can actually use? Yo! What do you want? Deku nuts. No, I'm good. Cheap though. Like that. Uh, not only is it far, it'd probably melt or burn up before it even got close enough. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I also agree with that. Knock it off. No. Bombs. No. Well, this was a useless place. <laughs> Let's not go to Camelot, for it is a silly place. Dun 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 dun. We're next to the round table. We dance whenever we're able. We do routines and call our scenes with footwork and back cable. It's a busy life in Camelot. We sing from the dire from a lot. We're next to the round table. Our shows are for mid able. And many times we give them rhymes that are quite unsingable. We're opera mad in Hamlet. Oh no, we've sort of done that one. We sing from the dire from a lord. I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up as a redeem and I'm gonna learn the words. <laughs> Always tough and able. Quite indefatigable. Between our quests we see to impress an impersonate Clark Gable. It's a busy life in Camelot. I have to push the pram a lot. It's only a model. Anyway, um, I am stuck again. So I can see that this is the entrance to the water temple. I can see there's something under there to hit, but I don't know how to hit it. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, 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 I get that. I get that, totally, but I can't open the sodden door, Navi. Can I still talk to Saria? She actually gives better advice sometimes. Let's try and find her song. Uh, that's the wrong song, but I like that one anyway. Yes, I am what? Stuck? Yeah, I know. Yeah! Hi, Saria! 
At first, I didn't want to become the Sage of the Forest. This isn't about you, Saria, it's about me. But I'm glad now, because I am helping you to save Hyrule Link. Yes, I am. Great. No, I want you to tell me what to do. Is it the same thing? Fuck you, Saria. <laughs> Shit friend, no help. Right, okay, there must be... So if I have the boots, I can walk at the bottom of the lake. You just can't get it to shut up. The only thing I think I can use underwater is the hook shot, yet yeah, that didn't work. Maybe not close enough. Fuck. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have I still got a blue fire? Yeah, because. Uh, uh, Dick Face, what's his name? The, the, the king of the water people. He was in red fire, wasn't he? Right, let's go and find him. What the, hell, what the hell's the quickest way to get to him? Honestly, probably just walking. Uh, yeah. Fuck it, it's an adventure, isn't it? Thank God there's a ladder this side as well. <laughs> Poor Chunk has to walk. I know, right? The Shoeless Express. It's not very express, to be honest. You still get Velcro shoes. I've never seen I've not seen Velcro shoes for a really long time. But I used to wear Velcro shoes as a young man because I couldn't figure out how to tie my shoelaces. Got it, it got there in the end, like, you know. It's quite simple when you know how, but then again most things are. Um Shanks Pony, yeah, one of my mates. Like, yeah, I can see why actually. Shoelaces I think shoelaces are for losers. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing Velcro shoes, and everyone that I see wearing Velcro shoes, I'm gonna point them out and say I was wearing them before you. I'm gonna be a Velcro hipster. That's my new aim in life. Can I get a horse, please? Guys, is there something I'm not doing to get the horse? This is a genuine question. How can I get the damn horse? I've got, I've woke up the dude at the ranch, and this is, is, does he have to like run back here now instead? I thought I did that. I'm pretty sure I did that, and he just said, hey. Okay, okay, give that a go. Any version. Talk to Saria. No, I don't want to talk to Saria. Oh wow, you can do it to talk to Navi. I didn't know that. One day, I might have a memory.
<laughs> Hi, Puna. You're getting better. Have a little race with me. Ah! <laughs> Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees. Bring it on. Actually, don't bring it on. I'm I, 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 I actually sure if I can win this. Find out. Get the fuck out of my way. Hey, so get out of my way. Ha ha. Now I block you with my giant bottom. Did he say just one lap? Like me when I can't do a bit on again. If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you! Have another race. If you win, you can keep the horse! Okay. I'm down. Exactly the same as last time, but I'll take it. Woots indeed, Swifty. Woots indeed. How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf. But I bet it's on the race and lost. Shoot! Ha ha ha. As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Just put his sword literally through his throat. <laughs> Got like magic fire spells and a bow and arrow. Stick one right through his eye, man. You're coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain when she comes. Can't jump over that. Hey, see ya. Apply warheads. <laughs> I'll not the smegger to oblivion. Well, at least I can get around a bit quicker now, anyway. Where's its testicles? You see, Red Dead Redemption was way better than this. I want to see those balls shrink. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. Uh, so I still need to get into the water temple. Hmm. Her testicles, yes. This is bollocks. <laughs> I was better off on foot. <laughs> hey, there we go. Jumps when I don't want it to, but doesn't when I do. Piona, not Epona. P P P Nona, P P Nona. <laughs> oh yeah, I was meant to be going to see the king, dude, wasn't I? He's he's covered in fire or some shit, right? I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. <laughs> I want you to burn. Another hot fuzz reference this morning. God, I love hot fuzz. I think that might be due a watch soon. Wish I was a quicker way to get here. I guess I'm going to find out that there is a quicker way to get here at some point. I just haven't unlocked it yet. Can you not, please? Oh, you bunch of bastards. What the fuck? Oh, Can you not? 
Can, can you just not, please? You don't even die! <laughs> Why won't you die? Oh, no, don't target it! But... Ocarina of Time's a masterpiece! It's the best game ever! It's like, fucking isn't. <laughs> I mean, it probably is, or maybe it is. This is this is user error, I think. There we go. The best game ever is obviously Toe Jam and L. Danana, Danana. Don't fall. I'll try me hardest, like I mean, no promises. I'm just thinking to myself, how can I get a Sunday lunch for free? I was like, what if I like went to a restaurant, ordered one, ate it, and then didn't pay? But then I think the why's to that because these days you make you they make you pay in advance, don't they? I'd go to prison for a Sunday roast. <laughs> just imagine on on the Z wing. Yeah, I murdered an entire fucking family. Fucking looked at me the wrong way. Yeah, I'm fucking odd, me. Were you, new boy? What the fuck are you in here for? Stole a cavalry. <laughs> I just really wanted gravy and potatoes. All right, couldn't afford one. I'll be my. Uh... Don't know why every British criminal has to be Ray Winston, but. I will send you the monies for a good roast. <laughs> I don't care. I have, uh, I have, I have couscous downstairs. I think, I've got, I think I've got half a bag of pasta, a few eggs. Uh, I've got some onions and carrots in the fridge. Um, I have a ridiculous sized seasoning cupboard. I'll be fine. I'll make something good. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Red Fire, dude. Can I talk to you, please? I speak... I desire an audience with the king. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. Looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. I mean, is it that obvious? Check you out, hard man, nicking spuds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, 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 I got a carvery and didn't pay for it. All right, mate, all right. Didn't mean to fucking start anything. Okay, okay, look, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, all right? Just fucking leave it, yeah? Just, just fucking leave it. I'm, 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 I'm going to go, okay? Please. Sorry. <laughs> we can go for a roast when I finally make it up to Hull. Huzzah! Next month, isn't it? I, I, do, I do understand that there is uh, some sort of, like, post, like, day after Ken meetup. Uh, sort of debrief. Um, I wonder if we can arrange that to be in a place that does a decent cavalry. West Bulls up in Cottenham is pretty damn good. I don't know where people have got their hotels though. Right, so uh, I saved the king and he gave me a blue thing so I could. I can say so I could drink underwater. No, so I could breathe underwater. Great! How does that get me into the Temple of Doom? The Temple of Water? Oh, didn't want to do that. Can I talk to you again and you can, like, give me a hint, please? Fuck, stop going too far forward, man. Ah, I see! Princess Ruto went to the Water Temple. Yes. 
Ah, I see. Princess Ruto went to the water temple. Yes. Ah, I see. Princess Ruto went to the water temple. <laughs> fish! Today's fish is trout a la creme. Enjoy your meal. Fish! <laughs> That'd be a good sound redeem. Ow. Actually, that would be a good sound redeal. So sound redeal? Sound redeem. Plan. We're going to need a tremendous amount of roast taters and Yorkshire puddings. Delicious. But if the gravy ain't right... God, I make good gravy. I mean, I make good bloody gravy. Forgive me, Squeak. I was, I was under the impression you were vegan. How do you do Yorkshire puds when you're vegan? Is it possible? I'd like to know. Thing is, I can't get to the bloody lake from here, can I? Hmm. Shit, there's another thing here. Okay, so maybe there's something in there I need to get to. I mean, I have to go all the way back into that sort of like weird temple place just to get some more blue flame, just to get rid of it. Can't you give me a blue flame up here, please? I feel a bit cheated by this. That's actually bollocks. God damn it. I don't even know if that's actually what I need to do. All I know is I can't get into. I can't get into the water temple with just steel boots and a blue tunic. I've not tried with a blue tunic. I don't know if that's somehow maybe maybe the, maybe it's like a like a barcode scanner, like an eyeball scanner, like in Demolition Man. That's two days in a row we've discussed Demolition Man now on stream. Maybe it's a sign. But yeah, you have to use your eye to get in. Maybe you need a blue tunic. What's that out there? Is that somewhere I can go? It's a bit like a forest, doesn't it? We don't believe it's got any access points. Anyway, let's go get some blue flame. Well, that sucked. Come on, can I climb up it, please? Thank you. Stop firing your shit at me, man. Can I put the blue flame at the beginning? <clears throat> Uh, no, I'm just... Oh, you're just lactose intolerant. I see, I see. Me too, but I still eat the damn stuff. <laughs> Basically, I should live on just plain chickpeas, but where's the fun in that? Alright, that's a blue rupee. It's not a silver one, is it? Did we open some sort of flame area in here? As in an area where I can get a blue flame without having to go right to right through to the end of the sodden place. Come on, come on. There's a pot. There's a spinny blade that isn't actually going anywhere near fast enough to hurt me. I could probably just jump over. It's whether if it's razor sharp, it might be an issue. But then I'd have been cut in half rather than just have my knees scuffed. Whatever. Oh, piss off. Ah! <laughs> she says eating chocolate. <laughs> I made such a great cake. I'm still seriously considering making that cake again for Ken. Ken cake. Get a couple of the buggers in case some else comes along. I've still got no guarantee this is actually what I meant to do, but I can't really think of anything else at the moment. Skank. 
Skank? I ain't no skank. Tomorrow is my stream anniversary. It will be very underwhelming. <laughs> But I am going to stream and give thanks to all of you guys. Uh, I think I think I, I, it's only right that I play a horror game because you know how much I hate them and you love them. Um, there will be a game of Keep Talking Dummies, but there is a game I got called Streamers Court, but I've been struggling to figure out how it works. So we could play that on the hoof. Apparently, I play a judge, and you guys all get accused of various crimes, and I have to judge on whether or not you are guilty of those crimes. Sounds fun in principle. Hope for giving it a go. Where is the big fish? Did it, like, die? God, can you imagine the sushi party after that? Oofed. Yes, please. Sorry, John. Fish are friends, not food. Mmm, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Whoa, that's nice. Right, let's open the shop thing. Hopefully that will give me where what I need. Sushi. Yeah, uh, is your name Sushi Alicia because you love sushi or because you are sushi? I've not had sushi in a very long time. I miss living in Manchester. Good sushi places. Right, what you got for me? Fuck all. So that was a waste of time. Thank you. Neither. Oh, okay. It is bloody expensive, yes. Yes. Especially since Brexit and all the fish has fucked off. Well, it hasn't. It's just we're not allowed to touch it anymore. <laughs> right, so that isn't what to do. Jesus. Let's go back to Lake Hyrule then. Okay. Oh, hang on. Do I remember? Come on, do I remember this? Actually, hang on. Okay. Okay. My sister sometimes calls me Lee Chef, so when I joined Discord, someone said my name sounded like Sushi, it just stuck since. There you go. Yeah, let's go back to the lake. I'm genuinely struggling how to figure out how to do this. Um... lead boots on. Iron boots, sorry. Uh, it's a mouthful for some streamers to say, though. What, Sushi Leisha? Yeah, I can see why. I can't play the ocarina under here. I can't just stand here and open the door. I will once again try to hit it with my hook shot, which is the only thing I think I can use underwater. I mean, I could try the hammer, but what bloody good would that do? I can't use the hammer underwater anyway. I guess I must have needed the uh, blue tunic before it would allow me to get in, but there we go. Sometimes it's Leisha, sometimes it's Lisa. Lisa. Sha. Huncha. Chicha. Shambo. Do a very good Michael and Jackson impression. Gonna make a change for once in my life. <laughs> that shit wasn't too bad. <laughs> Gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. Yeah, there are some things I cannot sing. Some things I can. But we're definitely learning the things I cannot sing. I am still slowly putting together a karaoke list of things so that I can turn Chunk Karaoke back on. 
Uh, the list currently consists of about eight songs. Uh, but as I think of them, I think, you know what, I could probably give that a go. They won't be great, but they won't be as awful as some of the things I've been made to try and sing, which have been very upsetting because they have that, that bad at them. <laughs> Tenacious D is in there, actually. Yeah, I've got Fucker Gently and Tribute. Uh, I was going to try and do Wonder Boy, but maybe not. Wonder Boy! Um, is it all Motorhead and Metallica? There is, there is no Motorhead or Metallica on there as thus far. Uh, in fact, I can tell you what's on there thus far. I think. On the second, it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, stream... Karaoke list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine. No, I've got two songs and eight, nine artists, eight artists, something like that. And I've got some Tenacious D, Amigo the Devil, some James, Don McLean, Frank Sinatra, Dead South. Uh, forget the name of the guy that sang it, but there's uh, the song The Eve of Destruction. It's like an anti Vietnam protest song. And Waiting Around to Die by Towns Van Zandt. Look at you organised and knowing where your shit is. I mean, I've got one folder on my desktop that's called Stream Stuff, and it's in there, so... Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's quite organised. It's pretty good for me. Hi. Oh, God, I forgot. This is this is actually the Water Temple, isn't it? This, 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 there is no hope for me. Ah. What? Oh, dear. I'm not sure if I've got the right sort of logical-minded head for this right now. And I'm guessing... Oh, I can grab that while underwater. Can I push it or pull it? No, it's a, definitely a push. But then I'll need to leave it in the middle and somehow go around and do it from the other side. Oh, no, it fell in. Oh, dear. <coughs> I'd lose it if it wasn't there. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh goodness me it's ten past four already oh, I'm gonna call it there my dudes I don't think I've got quite the mental capacity for uh, the water temple right now please don't go anywhere we're gonna raid out I'm gonna try and make something that tastes like a uh, something that tastes like a roast dinner using only couscous and a tin of tuna it could be very difficult Maybe I'll just put loads of sage on it. Uh, okay, well, we've been talking about how uh, average to crap a singer I am. So let's go and actually raid someone who has a truly gorgeous singing voice. Uh, we've not raided them for a while. So we're going to go and see Lady Cleo. Um, thank you for spending your Sunday afternoon with me. If you have manual clocks anywhere in your house, remember if you're in Britain, clocks went forward this morning. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's like, that's it for today. Tomorrow is my stream anniversary party. I'll be starting at 6 p.m. and taking it from there. It's going to be a whole evening of me saying thank you to you guys for getting me to a thousand followers and the fact that I'm still here after X amount of years being on stream. Uh, there is going to be some horror gameage. I'm thinking it's finally time to play the Resident Evil 2 Remakes. It's currently on sale for like seven quid. Um, and we're going to play Keep Talking Anyone Explodes, Nobody Explodes, and yeah, I guess just, just generally having a standard... It's, it's, it's like basically, it's just, it's just Monday Plus. It's not a big party. I know some streamers do like huge, great, hilarious, wonderful things uh, when they reach these like milestones and stuff, but I just haven't had the minerals, I mean, the, the spoons to sort of, you know put anything that extravagant together so i'm just going to turn up and just say you know hand on heart thank you um but thank you so much for spending yeah yeah if you are not a subscriber please use the first nightbot message if you are a subscriber please copy the second nightbot message and we're going to go and see lady cleo she's a lovely human being uh, and um gorgeous gorgeous singing voice uh, and as a raider i get to pick a song so let's do that bye